Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Nap Nugget, where I'll give you one tip that will inspire you to act and motivate you to move. And I am Nafateria Fonde, and I'm a business and sales coach for Parallel for Newers. That means you're juggling your passion as well as your profession. You're working a nine to five, all while building your business on the side. I help you get clear on your core business components, confident in your selling skills, so you can bring in extra cash into your business. So today on Nap Nugget, we're talking about a four letter word that starts with F, and it's not what you're thinking, is that word fear, F-E-A-R. And some of the common fears that come up for myself as well as some of my clients is, this will not work. They won't support me, be it their friends or their family. They don't feel they get the support. That's one of their fears that they have, or that they'll put all this energy and effort into producing a service or product and it not yield the results that they dreamed and believed that it would. So let's just talk about some ways that you can address the fear and ways that I use when fear creeps this ugly little head for me as well. So first thing I do is I find a scripture. One of the scriptures I tend to use is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And it states, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, right? So first I say, okay, let me consult basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible, and see what God has to say about fear. That's where I start. Then the second thing that I suggest to my clients and I do as well is I say, let's define that nightmare. Let's define what will, you know, what would be the worst thing that can happen if you move forward in taking the necessary step or action to move your business forward. Then I say, what steps would you do to recoup, recover from the damage that may have happened or arise from you taking this step? And then what are the benefits of you actually taking this step and moving forward in your business, right? So for example, one of the things that I created um, was a, a planner. And when I created this planner, I expected it to sell. I, you know, I had good feedback from some of my early adapters that was able to give me some feedback and was there through the whole process of creating this planner. And they gave me, um, so I thought based on me asking my ideal clients and, and, and getting good feedback that it will fly off the shelf and you know it would just sell and wouldn't have any issues, right? Mm-hmm, wrong. <laughs> so first thing happened was if I defined the fear, the fear would have been it won't sell. It won't, people won't receive it like some of the early adapters did and, and won't love it and, and want to buy it you know, month after month, right? That's one of the fears. So the second thing is, well, Neff, okay, if this planner doesn't sell the way that you think it should or believe in it will based on the feedback you've already gotten, what can you do with the planners that you have left in inventory or in stock that's on the shelf? You can bundle them and put them with something else and sell them that way. You can gift them as client gifts. So there's... So that was me thinking of ways that I can do what I could do with the planner in case it did not work out the way I anticipated. And then the other question is, what would be the benefit if I had moved forward, which I did, but taking it prior to actually doing it, what would be the benefit of moving forward in creating this planner for me? So the benefit for me at the time was that it would have give me a physical product because I sell services, but it gave me a physical product. It would give me what people say online, the infamous sleep porn. Also, it wouldn't require anything of me once I created it, because once it was created, then I could just put it on the website, you know, and let it sell that way, unlike the private coaching that I offer through my Clarity to Clash blueprint. So if that's something you may be interested, feel free to reach out to me and get a consult schedule. Also, I want you to think about and leave in the comments for me, what are something that you're putting off because of fear, right? Is it an event that you considering hosting, but you don't want to do it? Is it a meetup that you want to create? Is it a, a physical product or a digital product that you've been considering, but you're letting fear creep its ugly little head and you're not taking the step that you need to take, right? So just think about the things that I talked about today in that nugget, which is one, you know, find you, learn and find you a scripture that you can hold on when fear creeps up. Two, ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen? Three, 
well, how would you recover from the worst thing that would happen? And four, what would be the benefit of you moving forward and taking the step that you need to take to move your business forward? And I also wanted to remind you of my Clarity to Cash live event that's happening in Durham, January the 25th. That is on a Saturday. And you can still take advantage of the early bird tickets for an investment of $49 where you get to save $100. But you have to purchase before January the 11th. The link will be in the description. So remember, be profitable and be blessed. Until the next time, bye for now.